How do you detect mental illness in a friend, spouse, relative or colleague at work? When these people stop being their usual selves, how do you identify that they are having a bad day or there is much more serious issue than it? When your friend or loved one begins to drink a lot, party a lot, cry a lot or exhibit any other significant changes in behavior, thoughts or their feelings that seem unusual, you may start to recognize that they are showing signs of mental illness. You can identify the tangible signs that somebody you know or love is dealing with a mental health issue. This way, you can keep them and yourself safe. Usually, when there is a mental health issue, it doesn't only exhibit itself in a single change but in a combination of changes. We all go through changes in our emotions, thoughts and behaviors from time to time. However, when these changes make you less able to function day to day, there may be signs of a mental health illness. Mental illness takes many forms, including depression, anxiety disorders, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. It's common and there are no simple tests to tell you whether you or someone you know has a mental illness. Often, you or people around you will notice small changes in how you act long before the symptoms seriously affect you. In this video, I will be sharing with you some signs that if you notice in yourself or anyone you know may indicate mental illness. 1. Sleep Problems We all generally need 7-9 to nine hours of sleep each night. When there is a persisting change in your sleep patterns, it could indicate a symptom of a mental illness. For example, insomnia could be a sign of anxiety or substance abuse. Sleeping too much or too little could indicate depression or a sleeping disorder. Experts agree that you are emotionally distressed if you are sleeping more than usual or less than usual if you can't fall asleep or wake up after only a few hours and can't go back to sleep. They also admit that if you have recurring sleep disturbances more than once or twice a week, where your doctor cannot identify any physical reasons for it, your problem may be connected to anxiety or depression, both of which are basically psychological problems. 2. Dramatic weight fluctuations or changes in eating patterns A lot of people would love to lose weight. However, when your weight continues to fluctuate or you experience rapid weight loss, it could be one of the warning signs of a mental illness such as depression or an eating disorder. Of course, other mental health issues can impact appetite or weight as well. If you find yourself gaining weight or losing a significant amount of weight without any changes in your diet or exercise regime, it may indicate a mental health issue. If you find yourself always thinking about food or repulsed by the thought of eating, some experts have admitted that it is an indication of emotional distress. When you are always concerned with food, weight and your body image, it is a sign that a certain eating disorder is cutting off energy from other areas of your life. One of the signs of depression can also be a lack of appetite. When women or young girls lose weight during menstruation or experience changes in appetite, this can also be a sign of mental health issues. 3. Unexplained Physical Symptoms You may find that despite your regularity with workout and consistency in visiting your doctor, you find no particular reason behind your physical issues. This may be a sign of some mental health issues. Your body is trying to let you know that your mind is going through distress. When you catch yourself experiencing constant headaches, a rumbling stomach, diarrhea, constipation and back aches, this may be connected to emotional distress and mental health issues. 4. Difficulty managing anger or controlling your temper We all have different moods. However, when there are sudden changes in mood, such as extreme distress or anger, this can be a symptom of mental illness. Mental illness can start with less obvious changes to a person's feelings, thinking and behavior. When the changes become significant or noticeable, it could be a sign that they have or are developing a mental health issue. You may seem to be comfortable being alone, but find you're suddenly prone to frequent outbursts of anger by your spouse, children, friends or co-workers. By this, you can know that you may be overly stressed. Such a situation is dangerous to your physical and mental health and unhealthy for those around you. You may not observe the signs in yourself, but it is worth seeing a counselor if friends and loved ones continually tell you to calm down and cool your temper. According to Annie Kalajian, EDD, RN, a joint professor of psychology at Fordham University in New York City. Not being able to control your anger is a sign of inability to manage feelings, and this is the one symptom that has the biggest impact on other people. Children and women especially are affected. People who have anger management problems do not recognize the symptoms because they feel fine when they are by themselves. This is something that only comes into play in relation to another person, so it's easy to blame the other person for what is really your symptom. 5. Compulsive or Obsessive Behaviors According to experts, 
Obsessions are repetitive thoughts which resemble worry and are accompanied by anxiety. Compulsions are behavioral acts designed to eliminate the obsessions. If you feel a constant compulsion to do something, like clean up a table, or you're overly obsessed about washing your feet or hands for no serious reasons, it may be a sign of mental health issues, you're emotionally distressed. If you catch yourself constantly worrying that something terrible is going to happen, that's another sign to watch out for. If you're constantly obsessing over things being in perfect order before you leave your home, such that it takes you longer hours to leave home because you're arranging things for no logical reason, you may be dealing with anxiety in your life. If your mind is overwhelmed with obsessions and your day is overloaded with compulsions, your life will be hijacked by anxiety and activities that are not productive. 6. Chronic Fatigue, Tiredness, and Lack of Energy Your body cannot always work magic. When it is overloaded emotionally and it cannot seem to take it any longer, it starts to turn itself off until it shuts down. This will show itself in fatigue, tiredness, and lack of energy. Also, when you find yourself feeling too tired or fatigued and lacking the energy to do even the things you used to enjoy, however, a visit to the doctor shows you're perfectly all right. It may be a sign of emotional distress and depression. 7. Memory Problems You may be experiencing mental health issues if you find that it's harder for you to concentrate, recall information, analyze problems, or even speak your own thoughts. Most people who suffer mental health issues show signs of impaired cognitive functioning. This can happen when you have so much to deal with, mentally, physically, or emotionally, and you're not allowing yourself the time required for you to rest your mind and do things you enjoy. You will experience what is popularly known as brain fog. Lots of things can temporarily interfere with your memory, from the hormonal changes of temperature to a preoccupation with a work problem to a lack of sleep. But it can also be caused by stress, a reaction to a traumatic event, or sometimes an illness such as Alzheimer's disease. How do you know the difference? You need a physical examination first and foremost, says Kalajian. If everything checks out okay, she says, then anxiety, depression, or sometimes an unrecognized reaction to a traumatic event you have yet to deal with may be behind your forgetfulness. 8. Shunning social activity Did you love to go to the movies with friends and now you don't? Do you seem fine at work, but the minute you're at home you jump into bed and just veg out? Are you turning down invitations because you simply feel better when you stay at home? Experts say all can be signs that your emotions can be getting the best of you. Any significant change in social behavior for a significant amount of time could indicate a stress overload or other emotional issues at work, says Kalajian. Aaron Owitz adds that if phobias or fears of certain places or events are keeping you from doing what you want, then anxiety may be looming large in your life. 9. Sex is no longer fun Are you going through the emotions and not feeling the pleasure that sex once brought to your life? Do you love your partner, but just don't want to make love? If a physical checkup reveals everything is fine, then Kalei Jin says an underlying depression or an anxiety disorder may be behind your slump. Diminished sexual desire and inability to feel joy in the sexual act itself can be a sign of emotional distress, she says. While that stress may be linked to your relationship with your partner, experts say just as often it could be linked to anxiety, stemming from a totally different area of your life. 10. Mood swings and erratic behavior noticed by more than one person While life may seem like business as usual to you, if friends or family members are commenting on your moody behavior, experts say pay attention. You have to listen to not only your own inner voice, but also listen to what you hear from your best friend, your neighbors, your spouse, your family. Others can have an observation of you that you cannot see, says Collagen. The greater number of people telling you that something is wrong, the more you need to pay attention. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.